The amount of power needed to run AI is hard to conceptualize. You can think about it in dollars. The top U.S. tech giants, for example, will spend a combined $320 billion in 2025 alone on facilities and equipment to power their AI projects. But no matter how you measure it, the result is the same. Powering AI takes a lot of electricity, water, and storage. And we're seeing a trend of large tech companies purchasing power plants to help feed their AI's insatiable appetite. Meta has struck a deal with geothermal energy startup XGS Energy to develop a 150-megawatt geothermal power plant in New Mexico. Microsoft signed a 20-year deal with Constellation Energy to reactivate one of the dormant nuclear plants located in Three Mile Island. And Google has said it struck a deal with a nuclear energy company called Kairos Power to make three small modular nuclear reactors. But AI doesn't just need electricity. It also needs storage and processing power, which requires data centers, which take a lot of water. And these plans don't seem to be accounting for the precarious water needs of states in the West where many data centers have been built. A mid-sized data center can guzzle up to 300,000 gallons of water per day, which is roughly the equivalent water use of 100,000 homes. And unsurprisingly, the leaders of OpenAI have an optimistic view on this issue. In a blog post, Sam Altman outlined a future just 10 years down the road where intelligence and energy, ideas and the ability to make ideas happen are going to become wildly abundant. But as of now, it's unclear if that abundance will also extend to the resources needed to power all this innovation.